Yo, good morning. It's just gone half past nine, 28th of October 2024, and it's Monday. We are back to the good old Mondays again, and back to another decorating job. And we had a particular brand that's going to be all over the place. <laughs> That'll be right. No, this customer's decided to splash out and go the extra mile. Go to the, it's not just any old paint, it's proper paint. So we have Dulux and Crown. Nice taste. Speaking of which, if you could eat that, they'd be like fully flavour. Like, mmm, wow. But another particular brand, they'd be like, yeah, worry. Mmm, not my style. It's only the better aftertaste. So I've been at this job since about eight, and unless it's half nine, so an hour and a half past. Obviously, ten minutes by them, and the rest just getting all this stuff on the floor. Covering the whole carpet. The carpet protector. Got the switches and everything up, or taped up, ready to rock and roll. Then that one, that one, the radio's just unhook, so I'll wait till the customer comes back, I could get it tomorrow. Uh, so we're more or less ready to start getting the good stuff slapped in the ceiling. I'm going to get my ladder, see, my ladders might be a wee bit big, so I might have to get my step ladders, I'm not sure. Which are round at the house, but I could be disappearing later on anyway, because the other job I'm at, they've got a delivery, so I might be there for that. Okay, so like I said, I've been at this for the past hour and a half. That's it, we're mashed up now. I'll probably have to mash round all the white. Then the switches, switches, sockets, switches, bell. And I don't know if I'm doing the woodwork, I think I am. So, what do we have here for walls and ceilings? This must be for a kids' room. Walls and ceilings, so we'll have no. There's no woodwork paint, so it looks like I'm not doing any woodwork. Uh, unless the customer's not laid that out for me, I'm not too sure. But we'll get the ceiling done anyway. How you get these lights down? How you can get my ladder, my step ladder from the car. Uh, get these lights down, taped up, smoke alarm taped up. But I'm going outside for a breath of fresh air, it's roasting in here, I'm sweating. So anyway, catch you later on guys, here we go. Monday morning, and let the fun begin. Catch you in a minute. Right. Got the... <laughs> Kind of the first coat on, on the wall, just done all the, the cuttings round the side. And I've left this big hollow chamber right here. I've got to try and figure out how to get up to that bit. Uh, I do have a scaffold board with me. But I've only got one set of ladders, so it's really split and put the scaffold board along that way. Or I'll turn the ladders around and put them up. There, then. I can only like do half, then do half. I've got white and I've got two colour to one as well, so it's going to be fun. I think we're going to have a wee break now because I'm fucking knackered. I see I've done the first got all upstairs as well, all similar to this, all upstairs, done all this. Uh, and then that will dry pretty quick, I would imagine. It's not an, another brand, so yeah. We're all right with this paint. It ticks all the boxes. So any wee runs that we see, just take care of them right now. I don't think I'm doing the woodwork because I kind of find the woodwork paint. So I think the customer must be doing that themselves. Which is fine. But right, I hate you want some polar filler. To fill these wee bits in, there's like wee cracks around the staircase. Looks like settling marks, I would think. Things like that. These things you notice on the way. Okay. Back in five. And we'll crack on. And the pumpkins have arrived. <laughs> Halloween's coming, Halloween's coming, and it's scary. Not as scary as the jobs were doing though. And if I fall, that's going to be scary. Oh yeah. Hello. Right, we've got the cutting in done. We're going to get the roller now. Once over, and then we're ready to start colour. And we'll get the seal on coated up as well. Uh, this was a right pig to get right. I kind of came ill prepared this morning. I uh, should have got my double ladder. I could have one up here, one up there by a scaffold board, because that bit really was a 
pick to get to that but they're right there uh for this it wasn't too bad but it's just Built houses with these big voids and all this in the road. You know, it's nowhere to try and get to places. Aye, anyway. So I could have had a ladder for there, up, and a scaffold board stand on that. But it's only for this. I mean, it's only for cutting in and the rest is road, so it'd be a lot for very little work, if you know what I mean. We've got that wee bit to do. If I can do that now. We need to climb over here, like that, and get to the bits. Nice. Right, one more time. Shadows of the world so mean A forgotten soul Living in a world so cold A silent scream from a story Touch our wee bar, there's a bit cracking, so I'll put a bit of scrum tape in there and a wee bit over there, you can just see it right there. Got that to do. Uh, okay, so you can see all the water starting to dry now. That gives me a, a chance for a wee 10 minute break. And the customer said I could help myself with a coffee, so I'm going to find the kettle and do just that. And thank you very much, customer. Oh, 
even leave the cup out in the coffee. Oh, look at that, perfect. Is there water in the kettle? No, but I'm sure we can sit up with another nice kettle. I'm getting a lot of jobs with nice kettles. How much that doing a kettle channel? It's the best kettle you've seen. <laughs> Pretty nice, isn't it? Don't need much, just enough for one cup. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, no way. That can't be the time. 13.43, no, no danger. Let's, let's see my phone. It's 12.43, wow. Okay, oh, okay, the clock's went back last night, that's right. An hour earlier. That'll be 12.44, so that's about the same. Haha, <laughs> I've just got to set the cooker, wow. So I think the family's back at four. <laughs> Round about then. I have to hopefully have colour on the walls. Because uh, I've been to the kids' bedroom this morning. It's going to be a late one tonight, I can tell. So I need to get my paintbrush. Oh, just, I must have a wee bit. I need to be behind the radiator to stay. Once again, another challenge. Getting the radiators off. You take them off and lie them down. Do behind them, put them back. Hopefully they don't leak. I don't want any kind of problems now. No, thank you. No, thank you. Right, there we are. I see we've got to go down that light switch and I'll have to take this bloody radar off. You can watch, watch as I do it and see if I make a mistake. See if I can do it before the kettle boils. As well. I'll put you that way. Yeah. Okay. Perfect view. Right. Bit dark, but it'll do. Yum yum. Okay, coffee swallowed. Now we have paint again. Another location, more paint. But I think we're going to be fine. Uh, base color match. I don't know what colour this is, I've no idea, and I'm taking it, they're both the same. The code's the same, yes. DX4N7P7FWCR9, yeah, both, both the same, nice. Let's give me a good shake. I feel like I just did this not long ago. I wonder where that was. So you're getting a lot of decorating jobs in there. Then again with the weather being that crap, this is just as well taking these kind of jobs on because you're working indoors. Right, that's gonna be a nice colour. What's it gonna be? Alright. Okay. Like a hmm. Like a honeycomb kind of colour. Ish. Right, I'm gonna have to get the ladders upstairs, get everything ready, and then take with us up. Here we go again. See you up there, guys. A few moments later. Well, that's another one of those. <laughs> Just take your time and enjoy it. Moments. Right. Where are we at? Okay. I've done all the cutting in twice. Yeah, twice. Uh, up to well, down to here, done that twice. So I've still got all oh, down here today, and then I've got to roll it. And guess what? It's quarter past three. 
and the Christmas ratings I'll be doing the kids bedroom tomorrow I don't think so you can see me finishing this off I'm not too much though I would think it's just awkward places just trying to reach for the ladder I put it that way I kind of get to that way <laughs> and there's like, there's like a spot like one spot is just in about this area right here that could be hard to get I'm going to stop for five minutes it's just spiling up there which is a good thing it's helping the paint dry so I don't mind that but it's going to get a bit fresh here right I'll bring you back in a wee while guys probably a wee while it'll be the back of four like I say it's quarter past three there we are now we hint him and I'll hit you face the traffic getting back him again because I'm only just over there Wow, right, catch you soon, cheers. Eight forty two AM We have come back to the lovely kettle. My mum should come back to hopefully a lovely hall. Look at that walkthrough, eh? You like that? Like a walkthrough. Did that other who say? At least we're not using a typical brand of paint, we're using really quality paint that the customers kindly put our hands in our pocket and spent wisely. Because we're using juleps and we're using crown as well for the ceiling and that's been amazing. Okay, so we have been back for about, well, we came at 8 o'clock, already put our wee coat all the way around the top, we're just working our way around. We've got this bit to do, then we've got the bottom part to do and then we can get it rolled. Uh, so it's looking not too bad. Went and splash it in a nice brush this morning. Been using it, perfect. It's a sash brush. It's got the angle on it. I had that other angle brush there yesterday, but I just didn't like it for cutting in. Didn't have the paint too well. And you couldn't really get crisp, clean lines, so hopefully I'll get that today. But yeah, it's looking good though. We're getting there. A lot of cutting in to do. A hell of a lot of cutting in. And like we've got radiators and all around the curtains, as you know. Okay, and it's all part of the process of painting that we all love. And we'll get this rolled later on, and I'll get you on a time lapse, and you can watch it happen and see the colour change, just like you did with the white yesterday. Uh, didn't get a chance to film last night because the, the family was well, the family, the customer was home with her family, and we're having their tea in there, so you kind of film when there's kids about and all the rest of it. So I didn't do that. And I'm not a this channel, and the way I do things isn't about uh, seeing where I'm working or. Given locations that way, I'm in Dunfermline. That's how you're going to get, and that's how you'll ever get. I'm up at the top of the tune, or I'm at the bottom of the tune. Who knows? I know. Does anyone else know? I don't think you do. Good luck with that one. Right, we're going to crack on. Get this lovely paint on the wall. Get it all cut in. And we can get the roller started, and you see it change from grey to it's like natural hessian. I thought that. That colour was yesterday, it's like natural hessian or Egyptian cotton. Egyptian cotton's a wee bit lighter than that, but it's in the same ballpark. They're all belong to the same family. And the customer said she's doing all the woodwork herself, so good luck with that one. That's really good. And she'll probably pass the job on to someone else. Probably me. <laughs> I would imagine, I don't know. But everything's been cutting twice up there. I made sure of that yesterday before I got ladders and everything put away. Yeah, so we can just crack on with the bottom part now, get it all cut in, and we're ready to start rolling, rolling, rolling. So I've got some tunes on the day, so I'm going to get the tunes rattled on, and we're going to rattle in with the paint. So we'll see you later, when it's different, or when I'm setting up for rolling, okay? Oh, and by the way, a quickie, I went to McDonald's this morning, I thought I'll treat myself to be McDonald's, it was about quarter to eight, and I thought, right, I'll go up to Holby's in Dunfermline, and I'll get myself all the breakfast wrap meal. Q was unbelievable. You, you come to the window, you put your order in at the speaker, uh, if you're doing it that way, or that's something to use the app. But regardless, I used the speaker this morning and I said I want a breakfast wrap medium meal with a lie. Taking absolutely ages, there was cars in front of me. They taking ages to get their food. I finally got to the window, had to sit for about three, four minutes to get mine. Got the bag, pulled away, came all the way down here, opened the bag, and I've only got a wrap and um, my lie. Didn't get the hash brown, so basically they've charged me for something that I've not got. And that's twice that's happened. So I think I'm about boycotting McDonald's and I'll go to Burger King instead because they, they're far, far better and better value for money today. And they never ever get it wrong. I've always had what I've asked for in the bag. McDonald's just 
they don't care anymore. They don't care. They're just after getting money and ripping people off, I think. That's all it is. Alright. It's just a shame kids like it too much. But Burger King, I think, is the way to go. Anyway, that's just me. Right, put the crack on and I'll catch you later on. Let's get some tunes going, okay? Right, bye. Yo, good morning, guys. Oh, there's the light. Bike above my head. Bike heated. Yeah, good morning, guys. Just going half past ten in the morning. Done another cutting in twice. Some three, three times just to catch up. Not to catch up, just to touch up. A few bits that I've missed. I might have to go over the white a wee bit just for the edges. Been a wee bit clattery if you like. Uh, had to get another brush this morning. I wasn't happy with the one I had yesterday. That's a cracker. It's a good home. Got a sash brush. But a real nice bristles on it and a whole lot of paint. And you can get right into the, the edges. It's far better than the one I had yesterday. Anyway, brushing's complete. So we're on to a roll now. Nice and warm here. It's going to dry pretty quick. Get the paint in the tin. Paint in the tray. Starts with a T. Same thing. Get the paint in the tray. We'll get a road, I guess. So, come for the run. And as per usual, guys, you know I like to put some music on. Doing this kind of work. I'm not watching, just try to watch this in silence. As usual, I've got my black bag over the tray. So, very little cleaning up to do. Wash a couple of brushes, and that's it. The roller hedges just dumped them to get new ones. Right, I've got you on the banister. You're right there, that's a nice view. Probably better with the light off. That's better. I'll bring you back with the light on in a wee while. Let's turn you around that way. Nice. Okay. I've got the pole here, but I don't think I can use it all the time because it's. It can, the walls are that narrow in here, they can get in. The pole can get in the road. Right, let's load it up. Let's go for it. And as per usual, there's some music to entertain you while I do this, okay? Now I don't have any music because I've got the phone recording this, so I've got to do this in silence. Or do I? Do I actually hear the music and it makes me paint faster? Mm. Anyway, let's, let's go for it. Hit it.
as you've seen, colour was put on the wall. Look at that, nice, eh? Lovely colour. Beautiful colour. Nice one, right. Uh, I think while I'm waiting on that drying, I know, waiting on paint drying, but this isn't taking that long, it's actually drying pretty good. It started here, and as you can see, it's pretty dry already. Uh, still see a wee sheen in it, but nothing much. We'll get another 10 15 minutes, that's fine. I'll give my time to go and boil the kettle. <laughs> I'm just going to go around the, the white on these edges. Just as a wee bit of hair off, kind of went over a wee bit. It was just that bloody brush yesterday, wasn't it? The greatest. A wee bit there. Sort of a wee bit of it. Uh, might have to get the ladder back in. Do the wee bit of there, but it's just bloody awkward. Uh, should have got a brush and a pole like I did at the salon a few months ago. Obviously, it needs a second coat, so we'll just let that dry. Do its thing. Do its thing. Yeah. And do a second coat, but it's looking good. Chuffed the bits with that, bro. In the downstairs hall. Nice. Lovely job. Lovely job. I see I've just got wee white bits to patch up now. Give you a roll, kind of went over the edge with that as well. Damn it. So I think you did that and all. I've got to do that bit with the white anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I can get it later. But well, I'll just have to let it dry. Um, but nice one. Right, I think it's time to boil the kettle. You can see the sheen in it. It is a matte finish, so we'll let it do its thing and dry off and go matte. So I'm going to wash that brush. That's a cracking brush. I should have got more of them. Uh, well, we'll get some white. Uh, where is the white? The white is... I think it's upstairs. It could still be upstairs. I think it is. Yeah, it must be. I think it's sitting up there, actually. Can you see it? Yeah, there it is there. You can just see it hiding behind that post there. Bro, right. We'll get that. Touch up. Then we'll... In fact, I can put the kettle in while I'm waiting. Not bad idea. Right. Catch you in a bit, guys. Cheers. Okay. Just gone one o'clock. In fact, two minutes past one. That's everything second coated. And guess what? It only needs two coats. Would you believe it? I wish I could have had this luck a couple of weeks ago when I was on another job. I mean, this would... I still need about an hour four after this. This is absolutely spot on. Really nice. Really, really nice. And I tell you what, this house is a hot house. It's warm as ever in here. So it doesn't take that long to dry and only done this wall about, about five minutes ago. That's it all done now. Brilliant. I think I'll open this window just to let some air circulate because it's really stuffy. Just let some air in with the front door open, it can just like be like a wee chimney. Oh, I can feel it already, bro. But yeah, there we are. It's all set and coated, looking amazing. Looking really, really nice. I'll just let everything dry now. I'll get all the sockets and everything back into the wall. Got the tape off. And just go around, just make sure everything's okay. I might even get the ladders up and just do that wee bit. That's really on my head, that. I'll try to get that, sorry, is that better quality? There we are. And my focus is all the pot as well. Nice. So, yeah. So really nice. I don't like these radiators, by the way. This is a new ball that's seven year old. Look, simple radiator, like you can lift this. Just off of your hand like that. Right. There's kids, kids in the house. There's no meaning to be a security feature. They don't have like looking tabs in them or something to stop that happening. I mean, come on. Why don't kids run and just bump it? Floors on the floor leaks. It's on the first floor. Uh, I mean, this is a lovely, lovely house. Oh, and while I'm on the subject, right, here we go. And it's in my head to talk to you about it. This wall right here, let's move zoom back a wee bit. This wall right here, yeah? And the opposite side is our garage. Now, nobody keeps cars in garages in the house. It's just used for storing, isn't it? She's wanting to know what procedure does she have to do or go through to get a door put here so she can get into her garage. Some houses around here have it. Like I say, this is a new development, seven year old now. But some of the houses around here have it, and I think these are Taylor Rumpy homes, I'm not too sure. 
And I think the, get the houses that have it, people had to pay to get that installed or to have the luxury to have it. Uh, obviously, this customer is the second one here. So it's the second owner. Uh, so she's... I said to her a few weeks ago, but nice to have a door there so you can get into your garden. She was like, yeah, love a door there. I said, well, you can't just go and cutting holes and putting doors into walls for a garage. I said, at the end of the day, you've got to think of like fire. So like they had, potentially if you had your car in there and so much to harm, or even fumes after exhaust, you didn't want to get into the house. So it'll probably have to be a fire door. That I get. Does she need to go for special permission to get that installed or can she just do it? Let's like say the, the house is seven year old. Uh, so I'd imagine she'd probably have to go to like a surveyor or stuff like that, building control, I, I don't know. Who would you have to go to to get that approved? Is it just get it done and go for your insurance? Because insurance would probably have to be uh, notified that you've put a door, you put a, you've actually put a hole between yourself and the garage, you know? So it could be a potential for fire, and that's been next to a staircase. I don't know, I don't know the regs that well, and I don't care how you would go about it. I'm, Maybe even a solicitor, I don't know. They'd probably be able to get the, the ball rolling. Or you go back to Taylor Wimpy and say, look, this is your house, it's seven year old. Am I allowed to do this? Would you let me do it? Because there might be a 10 year warranty on these houses, I don't know. Hi, this is that garage we were telling you about. Front door there, I was just sitting in the stairs, just in there. I told about the hole door for the garage, there we are, this is the garage, this is what the whole uh, door, probably ruffling a bit with this wardrobe is, just so she can walk through for, for the house, is she allowed to do that, this will be a firewall I would imagine, it'll be plasterboard over plywood I would think, or double, could be even fireboard, I've no idea, it's all painted so it's hard to tell, uh, really nice garage though, nice and tidy, but it's not often you see a tidy garage, and there's the boiler. There's a hot water tank upstairs. Yeah, there is. Look at the consumer unit as well. That's the neatest consumer unit I've seen placed in our garage for a long, long time. Oh, that's we're getting a leak for somewhere. Look at that. Something weird's going on there. I don't know if it's been a leak or they're having a leak right now. Oh, yeah, bugger eye. Look, even the screw's rusty. Ooh. I think she needs to get that checked out. I wonder how that's leaking. Mm, what it's the boiler itself. What dates have we got in the boiler? Uh, 2010 it was... Oh, we're just fake, 2010. No chance. 2010. I thought it was seven years. That can't be that. That can't be right. Something not right there. Wait a minute. I can't even get any closer. Oh, she's got mere, mere stuff. Oh, nice. Didn't see any nasty names here at all. Lovely. For once. Right, so it's protected by Sentinel 2010. 2010 it says. Hmm. I thought it was after 2010. Okay. No yeah, problem at all. Right, okay. Hmm. What's that done down there? Oh dear. Hi, get back to what we were talking about. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted there with a watermark coming out of that switch. Wow. A uh, door in there. Can it, can it be done? Is it allowed? And who do you contact to get that done? Is it the, ho the house builder? Or what? Let me know in the comments, guys, please. Cheers, so I can let the customer know. Right, back to the job inside. But anyway, actually, it's just gone one o'clock. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to boil the kettle and have a quick coffee. Then I'm going to start getting tidied up. I say I've got the sockets and everything put in the wall, just check for runs, deal with that as need be. Uh, then, when all that's done, I say I might get the ladders up. Well, take five, ten minutes and do that wee bit up the top there. It's just a bloody awkward bit to get to. It really is. I might have to put the ladders here and just try and stretch across. It's, it's awkward. It really is. But I'll find a way. Uh, and I've been around all the white. And I've checked it all and just made sure there's no like over painted over each other, you know, nice crisp clean lines. That's the way I like it. That's the way I would have it in my house. You know. Right, bring it back, we're gonna boil this kettle 
and we'll take it from there but I appreciate that guys any advice in the comments just put them down below uh, I said it would go there I mean she was thinking about putting it there but that's the living room now and I put the TV's on the wall so right in there is the garage yeah so she just needs like where I am from the kitchen imagine I'm going to get my car I'm going to get something just open the door it's right there instead of having to go out unlock the garage door to get into it Anyway, I'll just find it out there, guys. Get back to me, please. That'd be appreciated. Right, back to the job. Coffee time. Oh, while I'm waiting on the kettle boiling, remember that? In fact, the pose was nearly like that. And a stitch. Right. I did a video and I put that as uh, the thumbnail. That creature. I'll put it here. There you go. Thought I'd seen it before. Right, kettle time. Right, second coat, like I said, is all done. We're going to start getting uh, the masking tape and everything off now. Get the sockets and everything back into the wall. And tidy the place up, get this carpet protector lifted up. We'll get it right to the top of the stairs, because we're finished up here. Uh, well, like I said, I'll probably get the ladders. Ladder set back up and try and get to that bit. I'm not happy with that. I kind of went over the yesterday, but it was a bloody stretch trying to get to it. I've no really got the, the stuff to try and get to that, really. Uh, I do in a way. I do have my spot ladder, but I was doing it with my dad's, and I was going to nip down and get it, but I didn't. <laughs> Me thinking the way I do, I thought I might not need it. Because I could have had a, one here, going down that way, and then one up there, and then a scaffold board. That's maybe the way I should have done it. But I still managed it. It's just that one wee bit up there. Just my, ripped my knitting, that. Kind of was done like that. Right, we get you set up somewhere. I don't know where. I'll clamp you onto a door or something. You can watch me put sockets back into the wall. Okay. And we'll put them all together in a wee time lapse. So that's going to be something to watch, isn't it? Oh, wow. You are so, so lucky. Right. You can sit and watch this while you're having your tea. And spit it out as you watch me do my work. Okay. Yeah. Right. Let's go for it. Sockets everything back on. Just open this cupboard door. <laughs> Look at it. It's the right tight space for that, isn't it? What a beast that is. Guess they just managed to squeeze that in. That must have been a nightmare to plumb in. Like, especially getting down the back there. I must have had to run, in, run that in first before they put this bad boy in. Yeah. What the hell? Just enough room. Look at that. Just enough room. In fact, it's actually no, it's not. I thought it was actually touching the end there, but it's not. Nice work though. Press fit to. Eh? Must have rattled that out before their first break. Wow, good job, guys. Nice one. Are we locking it as well? Stop any kids mucking about it. Right, crack on, putting these sockets on the wall. I'll get the level up in a wee while, but you can't level them anyway because they're dry liner boxes, they're pretty much fixed. We'll just make sure that they're, they're alright. Right, we'll crack on with these two, then we're downstairs. And like I say, we'll get all this lifted to the top of the stairs. Then we'll get the ladders up and see if I can just do anything about that. I was even thinking about my pole with the brush and end it. I might do it that way. <laughs> I'm tempted to actually do it, just do that. Because uh, I didn't want to get the ladders up because they end up just marking everything. And I'll just have to touch the wee bits up and rub them out. But I'll get all that. Uh, okay, I've got a smoke lamp to take the tape off as well. And the loft hatch, we've got that to sort out. Right, let's crack on with this and carry on with the time lapse. Cheers.
So I'm doing the kids' bedroom tomorrow. So there's no point in actually taking a pasta cup. I'm not keeping it there, it's doing a, it's doing a job to fix the floor, so who knows between now and I finish that, who knows what that is. So, you know what I say, precaution is better than cure. So, that's why I've never had, really had any accidents. Uh, well, I've had accidents in the past, but you know what I mean. I think I'm putting the mirror back up. A couple of things at the end there, they've got the, you know the wee swirlies? So I went to take it down and just pulled it in the hole. That's <laughs> what, what you want to deal with, yeah? Right, I think we're finished up here. So we're gonna, I was going to get the, the brush with the pole and end it. I think I'll try it. I need to wash the brush again. I'll try taping the brush on the pole and just going over that. You see there? Just that wee bit. Where are they? Right there. <laughs> Come on, I mean, <laughs> that's awkward. Not as awkward as that though. See if you press that. Ding ding. And give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you. And I'll get the pole and we'll get that. That there. That's it. That's how you do it. Get that done. Right, bring it back to me. Okay, I'll show you this technical advancement. You ready? Dragon's Den, here I come. Paintbrush, pole, masking tape. Okay, done this before, it's very successful. Should actually make a wee hold of the clips onto the side of that as a paintbrush. If that was invented, would anyone actually find that useful? So you can actually clip onto the pole and the brush can sit into it and it's a standing pole for the brush. Then you just take it off again, so you can screw it into that. Hold this, there's an invention there waiting to happen guys. Wow. Deborah Meaden, I'm coming after you hen. Am I? You're my woman. You're into the DIY market. Been a bit slack with it to be honest with you. Went over the colour with the white. But when I get when that dries, I'll put the rest of the sockets on downstairs while that's drying. When it is dry, I'll come back up with the colour. And I can maybe touch it up with the brush like that, see? I can see it from here. It's just awkward trying to see the white onto the colour. That's not bad, we'll get there. But this is looking raw. Okay, I uh, don't see the mirrors anyway, she must have put them in her room, so I don't care if she wants them back up. I'm going to wash this brush it again, and we'll be ready for the colour once that dries. So back to the sockets downstairs, guys. I'm not going to put you in a time lapse, I think you can what I'm doing. I'll bring you back when it's all done, alright? Cheers, guys. Okay, quarter past two, guys. The day is getting in. Just been downstairs and done with the sockets and that, so that's them all done. Now, this is the moment we're waiting on. See how messed up I can make this. Hope I can make a real peach of a job. But I really fucking it. A really steady hand.
<laughs> not bad so far, not bad so far guys, not bad so far. Keep it going like that, I'll be happy. Listen, don't you wanna know, don't you? It won't be fine if you just keep moving on and don't know. Just lying on his back, done all that ceiling, doing it for 10 years. And when you went to the bathroom, you cut a wee run, you run, and you dripped over that for the tap tank. And then you just picked up for that and was like, see the guy in the back, put the back ceiling. Oh, I went to see the mess, I didn't pick the bathroom. So I really would remember for that. You always remember for the mistakes, and never remember for the good job. Oh, my God. I remember you more for the mistakes than that sort of thing. Good points that you did. Now, what I'm trying to do. I think we're going to have a five minute break. Because uh, all I've got to do now is tidy things up. And uh, just call it a check, really. It's probably the last one to do because I'm into the kids' bedroom tomorrow. Maybe I'll be in there. I hope she doesn't mind me showing this. The only, reason, the only reason I'm showing this is because the door's open. I never opened the door. I think we're in here tomorrow. Because I've done the sockets and that behind the telly. A couple of weeks ago there. There's a wee PlayStation and that. See, I tidied all the cables up, put them in there. Be brush boxes. But I think I'm doing this tomorrow. And she's patched all the holes in the wall out. They probably just need sandy. Ah, they need sandy in. But the kids got all this in the road, so I'm going to... Aye. Okay, sand it down, dust. Aye, right, okay. Don't know how I'm going to do that. She must have got these wee stars off the ceiling as well. <laughs> there was LED tape all the way around the ceiling. She's pulled that off. Yeah, so there's a bit of work to be done, like, guys. I'm not showing too much of the kids' bedroom. I'm trying to remember where the other bedroom is. I think it's in there. That's the next one. Uh, here I can't remember. Oh, it could be that one. Ah, it could be that one. You walk in this room there. That's where I've done the other socket. And that's the, the owner's bedroom in there. Right, and that's where the cat is, in there. 
don't let it out, it's like a wild animal. Oh yeah. Right guys, okay. Turn the lights off, not a longer required. We've got all this rubbish downstairs. We'll leave all this on the, the carpet tonight, because like I said, I'm in the bedroom. I might have to get some more and run it there. That was two rolls I, I used, 25 metre a roll, 50 metres. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, okay. Happy with that though. That's looking really nice and that's starting to dry bra. And the cutting in's a lot better. I'll bring it up later and you'll see it properly when it's dried. Went over a wee bit there, but come on. I don't even know if that's focusing, is it? I think it's got nothing to focus on. Focus. Come on, focus. Yeah, okay. You can see it. Alrighty. Nice. Right, get this bag done, get the brush done, get the tin done, get the pole down. Done enough pole dancing for the day. And we'll get things together. We'll stop for about five minutes, get a bit of fresh air. And we'll carry on for where we left off. And I don't need to pack too much of it, like I say, again, for the third time. I'm in the kids' bedroom in the morning, so I can more or less leave everything here. My ladders are in the garage. And I'd love to walk through to the garage and get them, but I can't. Well, I can, I've got the garage key, but <laughs> like I was talking earlier, the garage door here, customer would love that, but it's a new build, seven year old. I think it's Taylor Wimpy, Barrett, or one of the, whoever's done this house, and she just wants a door put into the garage, so she can walk into it without having to go in the, the rain and open the garage door. What permissions and how does she go about it? Who does she ask? Obviously the house builder, builder I would think. It's their property. But she's bought it. Uh, but obviously they do with fire eggs. Right, so everything's looking good here. Uh, I'm going to have to get the white paint and just go round the wee bits, round the edge here. Again. It's hard to stay. And you roll it, the road just goes over that wee 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 bit. And just smudges the underside. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm going to get these lights in as well. Get them in. Tape out the smoke alarm. That's all of that done. Uh, I think I must be coming up for, yeah, half past two. Right, half of time I think the kids will be back for their school. Lucky them. Any jobs going? <laughs> no, thank you. I've been there. Did that. Memory's gone by. Obviously I've done really well, that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> Not going to snort the day, no chance. Right, let's get all this off and the lights back in the ceiling. I was going to stop for a break, but for the time it'll take. Uh, I did leave a wee bit on this. Just a bit to pull. The tape's quite strong actually as well. Holy shit. Every time I put the camera on the job that I'm doing, it's always a hard job. Some chicken involved. Doesn't they want to play ball? Yeah. And they just they should push it up. Oh they got a grip. Oh my god. That's a tile floor by the way. Under that. That's a tile floor, not laminate. Tile. I think it must be the house builder or the last person that was last owner that was here. Tape just wants to rip again. It's good tape for masking things up, but I tell you what, when it comes to peeling off, it loves to rip in those awkward places. Ah, got it. You won't beat me. Wow. What's your fingers with the bugger? The bite. Oh, smoke alarm. Don't wrap, please don't wrap. Nice. Clean. All the way around there. Lovely. Beautiful. We're doing well. Two lights to go. Two lights to go. Ah. All done. Get my shift back up. Like that. 
Okay. Let's move this here. Because they are, see, I'll leave a wee tab end on it, see? Never grab it. Lens on the camera's a bit shitty. Looks like I cleaned that. Right, you, Mr. Light, get in there. Get back in it where you belong. Nice. Done. Okay. That'll be brought in here in the next three, four hours when it gets dark. That light will look really smart. It's really smart already. A lovely house. I like it. I like this house. Little character. Obviously, it's got it's got a big character right there. Awkward to try and get to when you're trying to paint it, but all in all, nice. Really nice. A nice light colour as well. So I'm sure the customer's going to be delighted when she comes back from her work. Okay, right. Quick break and not really much more to do. Just grab all my stuff, put it in a bag. Uh, just check it out when it's all dry up the very top there. And that's more or less it for the day. We could have an early one. And I'm meant to be back up that other job at the weekend or Friday. So this is Tuesday. So, so tomorrow and way uh, tomorrow and Thursday into the kids' rooms. Then Friday we're back up to that job that we were at last week with the bold colours and we're going to fit the door to the cupboard and help the plumber out. Bridges Boiler Solutions, Mr Chris is coming to do the honours. So we will bring you back with that job very soon. Right, quick break then we'll crack on. See you in a bit. Okay. There we are, we have finished the decorating downstairs and upstairs. Off the hall, anyway. Look at that, not bad at all, eh? Pretty dang good. I'll give you the wee upstairs tour in a moment, I've still not had a look at that yet. Oh, well, I'll be concentrating on this, repairing the skirt. I've just got a motion, so what I've done is sanded it on my back. It was all blistered, eh? Right at the bottom there. All the way along, don't know what was happening there. Don't see a reaction to the. The adhesive for the tiles? No idea. Looks like there was no primer on that skirt and hang. They just put gloss on it and ran with it, I think. It's just been a matter of time before it starts peeling. Obviously, there's a cold spot with the tiles. It's a concrete pad. I think there's something to do with that, no idea. Anyway, like I said, we've got everything done here now. Lights are all back, smoke alarms, untaped. Everything's back on as it should be. Well, nothing was that suspect stuff. Let's have a wee look upstairs. It's looking really nice, really, really nice. Don't know what that is. There's a kid, a kid on the side, so I'm not sure if he's bumped it. Mm. It's still drying up there, but it's looking pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. Like the way that's looking. There we are. I think we're in our bedroom this, tomorrow and the next one. Okay, see that gets my, that doesn't float my boat, that's the old grey paint that was on the, the wall. Apparently the last paint I just painted in the switches, but you see me, I take them off. Not everybody will do that though. Some people are terrified electrics and that'll no, they'll no go that far. Just get that. Should be a wee bit better. Yeah, there we go. Nice and clean. Can't get the certain bits I don't. There she goes. Right, okay, that's better than it was anyway. Right. I can get a bit of paint and touch it up. I don't know what happened there. And there. Mmm, somebody's been here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Naughty, naughty. Right, good job I've got paint and good job I'm here to put it right. That's still drying, there's a couple of wee white spots up there. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. A wee bit right there and a wee bit right there and a bit there I think. It's just drying off, that's not too bad though. Quite happy with that. Bro, looks bigger, looks fresh. And that skirt I was telling you about downstairs, you can see it's It's 
So when they book, they got the scud and they fastened it, they, they didn't bother priming it. But there we go, I'm going to try and get you some nice artistic shots. There we go. Oh, and I went down the side, I've just got a motion. I just went all the way down the side and tied it up as well. So you can close it later on, but at least it's white. You know, it's a wee bit fresher than what it was. Not bad at all. You can go that bit down, or in here. Okay, really nice, really, really nice. And the owner will be back shortly because that's the kids arrived from school. I tell you what, the school, the school kids get it real easy these days, don't they? They just walk out the door and they're back in again. How did they learn it, man? Oh well. <laughs> Who am I to talk? <laughs> look, what I, look what I can do. Not exactly rocket science, is it? But it pays the bills. It really does pay the bills. Just about. Anyway, that's it. Right, I don't know if there's going to be any more to take here tonight. The time is... 25 past three. So now a half hour owner will be back. And hopefully we'll get a thumbs up. I'm giving it a thumbs up. Are you giving it a thumbs up? Press that, in fact, we'll put that right there, at the corner of the screen. Ding, ding. Nice one. Autofocus, do your thing. Lovely, right. Got a wee bit of paint. Again, and touch that back at the top of the stairs. And that should do it. Okay. Sorry. You can do it with me. Yes, I've been watching this fire, but I've been watching the rest of it. Gripping stuff in it. Like, he's carried something up the stairs and hit some. Don't know what I mean. Make it too obvious. Make it look like the the bumps of the roller. Yeah. Can't believe that. It's barely dry and it's been knocked already. <clears throat> You're sacked. Probably be carrying something upstairs or I don't care. Is there any... I'd love to care what that was. It certainly wasn't me. I didn't have nothing. To... Everything was taken down. Hmm. Okay. It was no bit like a scooter up there or something. Carried upstairs and bumped it off the wall. If you're going to do something like that, tell me so I can act on it. But I don't know, but at least I've seen that one. Not too bad. Right, okay. Uh, I think that's more or less it. Wash this brush out again. I said, I need to get more of these brushes. They're bloody good. And it's BQ's own make. Really nice brush. And I like the long handle on it. You know, some of these other brushes you get. I mean, alright, okay. I mean, you look at a little different lens here. And some people say length doesn't matter, but it does in this case. Length makes all the difference. Right, we'll get this brush washed out. And not really much more to do here. That's just kind of finished for the day. I think while I'm waiting on when I come back, I could maybe I don't know. Show you at the back, that's an idea. I'll show you the other jobs that I've done here. One of the jobs I've done here was put a socket behind the, the telly. Done that a few weeks ago, and there's a wee switch down there you can turn it on and off. Another job I've done for this customer is if you look at the fence, it's all double slide. Did that not that long ago. Just to give the, the client extra private privacy. She's been in here like four years, something like that, and she's never had the chance to sit in the garden because obviously with the neighbours higher up, she's feels getting a spider on there. That just gives her a wee bit extra privacy there. Not bad. I like all these wee features that they put in the, the houses. Wee blinds and all that. And a cat flap. Nice. Uh, right. I didn't come out to show you guys, so I'm just wasting film here. So I'll cut you loose, and if there's anything to tell you, I'll tell you. If not, 
Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one and that'll probably be the kids bedroom I think I'll maybe film that but it'll be in a, a different episode so thanks for watching hit all the buttons give me a like give me a subscription and I'll catch you on the next one take care guys thanks for watching bye bye <laughs>